Thank you for stopping by to check out the Qt Office overview video. Qt Office is a online software platform that lets you run your Mary Kay business from pretty much anywhere in the world. We are cloud based which means that we are not local to one computer which has several benefits. One if your computer is crashes or is stolen you don't lose your business. So you can log on to Qt Office from an iPad, from a PC computer, from a Mac and even your smartphone. The mobile version from a smartphone will be different, but the versions for the iPad, for the Galaxy tablet, for any other tablet, and the PC and Mac are completely compatible and exactly the same. So Qt Office is broke down into the Qt Office Manager and the Qt Office Websites. If you're not a director or if you're not building your team, you probably don't need the websites, but the Qt Office Manager will still be able to do a lot for you. If you are a director, then you can have your office manager and website all in one location. The Qt Office Manager by itself is $9.95 a month and includes a 30-day free trial. The Qt Websites by itself is $14.95 and that covers the hosting. And if you do both, then it would be $19.90 for both as a package. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of our test member accounts and show you what the inside looks like. So this is the home page if you are a Qt member already. This is going to tell you what's going on with the Qt office itself and give you some tips here, list any webinars that we have coming up, and be an overview for things like your six most important things list and how much inventory you have on hand. When you first sign up for Qt, you would click on the getting started coffee cup icon here and this would give you a check guide to go by. While you're getting set up, you'll go to the Customers tab and you'll actually import your customers from Mary Can Touch so you don't have to type all that information. Then you'll go import your team members from InTouch if you have any. And then you'll do your initial inventory input. Let's take a quick view of the inventory page. So setting up your initial inventory, there's actually a video for it right here that you could watch if you sign up for the free trial. But setting up your initial inventory is very easy to do. It can be a little time consuming if you have a lot on your shelf. But after this, the system is going to track it for you. Because you'll be able to import your orders from Mary Kay and Touch, which will add products to your shelf. And then you'll create invoices, which will deduct the products from your shelf. But let's go ahead and say that we're doing our initial inventory input now. I would simply go down these left hand columns over here and I could change how much inventory I have in stock. If I change one item a time in normal edit mode you'll see that it loads between each change. If I'm doing an initial inventory input I'd probably put it in bulk edit mode and that way I could change a lot of different fields at once and then go and update those all at one time. If you don't like using the drop down folders on the left here, you can use the search bar, type in a keyword, or you can type in the product code if you know it. After your initial inventory input, like I said before, you'll be able to import your orders from Mary Can Touch and we'll do all the updating for you. Something else that's really cool when you import an order is that your expenses are going to be updated. Let's take a quick look at that now. So now we're on the expense page and before I show you where those fields would be imported in, let me just go over some of the different things on the expense page. You have your incomes, which are going to be incomes besides your invoice sales. So you could add a commission check, you can check your sales reports, you can check an overview of your expenses, you can add an expense, and you can add an expenses for normal expense types. Assets expenses are for things like computers, fax machines. Uh, new computers, event expenses or for leadership and seminar and things like that, automobile is self-explanatory, and then you have things like your weekly accomplishment sheet which is actually automated based on what you're doing during the week. So if you create an invoice or if you do a booking it's going to be automatically sent to your weekly accomplishment sheet and you can send that to your director. Everything else you're doing through the week also will pull to your tax report and the tax report is one of my favorite features. Let's take a quick look at that. And because Qt is a live system, which means a cloud-based system, you could go back to add old invoices or expenses to 2011 and go back and print that and everything would be updated every time you adjust it. Your basic information is going to be at the top. 
your sources of income will be listed next your cost of sales and then any expenses that you put in you're also going to have invoice breaks down which are going to tell you about how much money you spend on your demo products and samples your gifts your personal use products etc your mileage will be listed here and depending on your state you'll be able to write off different amounts per mile and then down here at the bottom it's going to tell you if you made a profit or a loss so I did say that we would take a look at those expense categories so let's go ahead and go back to that real quick I'm going to click on add expense next and then my expense types will be dropped down in here now these four areas here the unimported section 1 wholesale section 2 retail these four items here are going to be automatically imported for you every time you import an order from InTouch. Anything down here in red are things that I've added myself. So you can add any fields that you like and it'll be pulled to your tax sheet just like everything else. And if you're on a Mac, these will not show up as red, but they will show up on the list. Next thing I want to point out real quick is going to be the My Team feature. After you import your team members, you'll be able to do several different things and some of these things are follow-ups with team members, notes, you can make this team member a customer and the best team member feature are they loaned and borrowed products. So if you loan a product to someone you can just create a loaned invoice to them and you can leave that open until they either give it back, you could buy it wholesale, or you could exchange it for another product. The same holds true with uh, either loaned or borrowed products. If you're a director you can create one of our websites and if you're a consultant you could create a website as well but if you're a director and you need a unit website then you can have all this in one place. QT does a lot more than this but just for a quick overview uh, we wanted to show you a couple of the things here. We do encourage you to try QT out for yourself for free for 30 days. There's no risk, no contract, cancellation fees or anything like that. We'd just like you to give us a try and see if it's something that could work for your business. Good. If you'd like to try it out, then just go ahead and click on www.qtoffice.com. Click on the free trial, and thanks for watching our video. Have a great day.